Uh, thank you so much, Daniel Kitu. When we talk about football in Kenya, the first name that comes to everyone's mind is the state of Harambe Stars. And what we have to talk about Harambe Stars is the performance that they've had in the last 20 years. If you can remember, when we talk about serious uh, conversation about competition on the continent level and also talking about any other friendly that will bring a lot of emotions and uh, debate here and there, amongst Kenyan football fans is the performance of Harambe Stars. And when we talk about this, when it was on 3rd May 2018, Harambe Stars got a new coach. The coach was Sebastian Menye, uh, confirmed after Paul Put uh, parted ways with FKF on mutual consent. And after that, Sebastian Menye took over and he guided the team to what we call 15 years being out of the African Cup of Nation and then he guided the team uh, back to the Continental Football Fiesta and what a tournament we had, uh, losing 2-0 uh, to Algeria, uh, beating our neighbors Tanzania 3-2 and finally falling to uh, Senegal 3-0. After that, it has been pull and push and conversation and this man on August, that is in 2019, he parted ways and now he is at Equatorial Guinea as the head coach moving forward and training that team. And he, we are privileged to have him today to just take us through what happened, how it was training this team and also what life is like in lockdown in France. Uh, thank you so much, coach, for creating time for us. We are really living in an unprecedented time. I would really love to know how is your family doing? How are you doing? How is the entire Equatorial Guinea team doing? Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I'm actually in France at home. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, my family uh, is still in Kenya, in Nairobi, uh, because the borders are closed and it's difficult to come back in Europe at this time. And it's impossible for me to, to come in Kenya. So uh, we expect a better time in a few weeks. And uh, to, we have a possibility for me to go, to go back in, uh, in Nairobi or the opposite to, to see my family here in France. Now talking about even your family, and uh, I know you are a coach, your schedule goes around going out to the pitch, uh, looking at the boys, giving instructions here and there. Just maybe right now in lockdown, what are you missing most? Uh, to be on the field. Uh, with my players because it's a, it's a more impor important for a coach uh, to share some moment and to, to exchange tactically uh, with your players, you know. And yeah, uh, coach, uh, we hope, we also hope that everything will be uh, well soon. But now looking at your profile, looking at where we've come from with you on 3rd May 2018, you are unveiled as the Arambisas coach taking over from Belgian uh, Paul Put, who uh, took time off the job just after three months. You got an opportunity to coach the Kenyan team. How was the experience? Fantastic. Fantastic because the, the target uh, when I signed in Kenya was to, to try to, to qualify the Arambi Star for AFCON and we achieved it after, uh, after the, uh, the first opportunity and uh, it was fantastic. I remember all my life the victory against Ghana but uh, for sure, the, the, the match against versus uh, Ethiopia with a full stadium, full inside, full outside, uh, with the atmosphere, with the victory, 3-0. It was fantastic. And to, to be back after 15 years of absence, it was uh, amazing for me. And to share it with my staff, with my uh, guys, it was a uh, it was fantastic. And after your country, you know uh, how much I love your country. And, uh, and so it, it, was, uh, it was fantastic. And the coach, uh, talking about your love for Kenya, uh, taking us back to the African Cup of Nations after being out for 15 years, the way you left, was it the right time for you to leave or situations forced you to? I think I was the only, only one to coach. AFCON 
and uh, Shan, you know, all the, the other country, it was an overcoach. Maybe it was a mistake and the opportunity to create some trouble and it was not a, a good time for that. We, we will be on process to develop football in Kenya. But after its life of football, you know, I, I didn't think about it. I think what, he, what it was the best solution at this time for Kenya. It was only my uh, thinking. And then, Coach, looking at now the build-up uh, towards the, the, the African Cup of Nations, we really had a good time there uh, beating Tanzania. I know that was the highest moment for you. But looking at the process of selection of the team, so many people, sports analysts, and everyone thought that uh, having Jesse Were top scorer at Zesco United will give him an automatic uh, qualification for your list to uh, Egypt. This didn't happen. So many people are asking, Coach, did you have something personal against Jesse Were? No, no, no. Of course, it's a, it's a fantastic guy huh, in terms of uh, uh, personality. Uh, the, the problem was, uh, for me, the, the quality on the field. And, you know, after one year, he didn't score one goal with national team, you know, in Egypt against Togo. So that means a lot of things. He, after uh, around 30 uh, call-ups, he never scored. So uh, it's a choice. Uh, maybe not the, the good one, but... My philosophy was to, to think what is the best for Kenya. The best at this time for me, it was to, to bring a young players like Avire, uh, to give him some experience for the future, you know. Yeah. And then, Coach, talking about the win against Tanzania, there was an agreement you had before leaving even for Egypt. That was the players' match winning bonuses. What do you know about it? But I know uh, we didn't receive any bonuses uh, since uh, this victory. All my staff, all the, the players, I think so. And uh, I read uh, the newspaper, uh, like you, and uh, it's exactly what I read. But uh, it's like it. What can I say? Talking about uh, the, the payment, you had a contract that was not to end on August 2019. Have you been paid your money? No, no, it's a uh, it's process, they told me. So I think uh, soon maybe uh, I will go to uh, FIFA uh, because uh, if I have no choice, uh, I let sometimes for FKF to regularize everything. And if it's not the case uh, for this summer after, I will go to, to FIFA. When you look at Arambi Stars, if we can start with, do you think we are in a position in future to win the African Cup of Nations? No, we, we have to, to be realistic. I know everybody w would like uh, a victory in Africa Cup of Nations, no. Uh, the next target is to be qualified, but not in 15 years. For next one, and regularly, you know. And coach, talking about now the old team, you had a fantastic team both here in France uh, preparing for the AFCON and also in Egypt. If you had a day off and you were to catch up with one player who you could talk of football with the whole day and don't get bored, who is that player? <laughs> Uh, to to share one moment with him and to, to yeah, talk yeah. about football? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's difficult. It's difficult. Uh, I like Olunga because I think, you know, for example, Olunga, I received some calls uh, this week from French team about him uh because he, some teams are interested by uh, his quality and uh i think the future is for lunga but uh, for me it was a pleasure to exchange with uh, wanyama uh, as it was interesting to exchange with uh, joash or denis 
local uh, local players you know and finally coach talking about now your general knowledge and how you make the final decision i want to put in a situation whereby you are in the uefa champions league final your team is one goal down it's the 90th minute and your team you are having cristiano ronaldo and lionel messi the free yeah. kick is just outside the 18 meter box who takes the free kick huh. uh, depends uh, which side depends on which side at the center uh, at the center of the 18 meters box uh, uh, depends on uh, who is the goalkeeper in front, because uh, if it's uh, a team from Spain, maybe he has some habits with uh, Messi. If it's a team from uh, uh, Italy, maybe uh, it's better to put Messi. But you know, when you're on the bench in final of uh, Champions League with a full stadium, I think Cristiano and Messi uh, didn't... Uh, didn't wait for my decision, you know. <laughs> they will uh, decide. Uh, thank Hello. you so, thank you so much, Coach, for talking to us. We really appreciate your time. I wish you all the best. We are hoping, pleasure. we are hoping that uh, normalcy is going to return soon, so that maybe our paths may cross. Uh, come African Cup of Nation in 2021 in Cameroon, Coach. Okay, and I hope to see you soon in uh, in Kenya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, coach. There you have it, Frenchman Sebastian Migne talking to us uh, from his house in France where the lockdown found him. And he is a man who came here on 3rd May 2018, uh, guiding Kenya back to the African Cup of Nations after being out for 15 good years. He has said that if we are to win the African Cup of Nations title, then we have to start building the team from the younger generation, growing and giving them transition with the more experienced players like Michael Olunga, the likes of Victor Wanyama, so that we be where Algeria and the likes of Egypt or even Ghana are. Daniel Kitu, there we have it. He has promised me come 2021, we'll meet in Cameroon if and only if Kenya qualifies for the African Cup of Nations.